that the Lord has made. We're so grateful that we are able to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you so much for joining in with us this morning. We're going to have Sister Morgan to come in just a moment and greet us. Then we're going to have a song uh, after she greet us in prayer. And we're going to go into the Word of God and encourage our heart. We just want to uh, thank you so much for uh, having church with us this morning, church service by way of comfort call. And all of you that's on listening, we will greet you in just a moment. Let's greet and receive Sister Morgan this morning. Uh, and don't forget, uh, you mute your phone. We know you're on and you're listening. Uh, we can't hear you, but you can hear us, and God hears all. So he's going to bless us real good, Sister Morgan. Good morning, amen. Give an honor to the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Thank God for my life, for help and strength. Thank God for being saved and sanctified and filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. I am wonderful, a man of God, our bishop, for the glory of God. And we thank God for life this morning. Thank God for health and thank God for strength. Thank God for being alive this morning. Thank God for being in my right mind this morning. We bless God for each and every one of you that are listening to the glory of God. We just want to say I love you, and may God continue continue and ever bless you, and we ask you to continue to stay encouraged, continue to keep the faith, and continue to believe that God, whatever situation that you're in, that God is going to bring us out. Amen. So the glory of God. And we thank God for the, uh, the wonderful word our bishop brought us on, on uh, Wednesday night talking about prayer. And I just added to it the power of prayer. Mm -hmm. There's power in prayer. It seems like we're praying and nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Baby, if you weren't praying, we would be in chaos. So the glory of God. But we just thank God. The world, no, I know things happen all around us, but just the idea just thanks. That if you weren't praying to the glory of God, so many things would have been to happen to us. But there is power in prayer. And we ask us to continue to keep the faith and continue to, to believe in the word of God and continue to hold on to what we believe. Hold on to our teaching. We continue to pray for our man of God that God will keep him strong, keep him strong in his mind, keep him strong in his body, that he'll be able to continue. To lift up Jesus' name, and we'll continue to heal and walk in obedience. Because if and we don't want our prayers to be hindered to the glory of God, and we find out on Wednesday night that sin will hinder our prayer, mm -hmm. and we want to keep sin out out of our lives. We want to we don't we don't want to sin to call God not to hear us to the glory of God, and we pray to God, but we can't be we can't be praying to God and asking God to help us, and we walk around practicing sin. Amen. And I know there are times we will make errors, we'll make mistakes to the glory of God, but there's room for repentance. We ask God to forgive us, and he will forgive us to the glory of God. Because ain't none of us arrived yet. Amen. When I say arrived, ain't all of us, we ain't made it to heaven, but we're on our way mm. to the glory of God. So keep the faith. Wives, keep loving your husband. Mm. Like the Bible says, husband, keep loving your wife. Continue to love your children. Raise your children in the admiration of the Lord. And do all that we can do. When we do all that we can do, God going to do the rest. Mm -hmm. I love you. May God forever keep you. Keep praying ye for one another to the glory of God, that God will keep us strong in our body and our mind. And saints, don't drift away to mm -hmm. the glory of God. No matter how long it takes us to make it back to the house of prayer, don't drift away from God. Stay with God to the glory of God, because we are the church. Mm. Amen, amen. We are the church because the church is a living organism. Because mm. he told us in the word, he said, let your life so shine before men. That may, they may glorify your father, which is in heaven. And that's like I said, we got to lift up Jesus because we are the church. We yeah. got to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. We got to live a lifetime before the people to the glory of God. So they might, so they might see God living in us. And may God forever bless you. May God continue to keep you. And pray, pray, pray that keep sin out of our life. God bless you, and I love you. Amen. And we will go in prayer. And we will, we will repeat the Lord's Prayer in unison. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. And it is in heaven. Give us today this day our daily bread. Give us our debt as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from 
from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory, and forever. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Encouraging words and you. the prayer. Thank God for you. As we get ready to uh, further the service, we want to ask uh, Evangelist Cynthia Tony to come and sing this song. And this song will be uh, part of the message uh, through by way of encouraging us this Thank morning. Jesus. And the prayer, uh, Cynthia will come and sing this song to encourage us that I know would be a real blessing to you. Sister Cynthia, will you come at this time? Thank you, Jesus. Sister Tony, are you there? Sister Tony, Sister Tony, uh, are you there? If so, come and sing the song for us. Can you hear me, Bishop? I can now. Uh huh. Okay, honoring our Bishop and our First Lady and all the ministers and their companions and the deacons and their companions. And to all of you, our church family, and honoring our Mother Harris this morning. You won't leave me like you can in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You won't leave me like you can in Jesus' name.
May you be encouraged more to the glory of God. And I want to uh, say happy birthday to all of those that are having birthdays in this week, uh, in this month. Uh, what a privilege and an honor to celebrate your birthday. To those that are having anniversary, wedding anniversary, may God continue to bless you on and give glory to God for uh, such a celebration that we can still honor and celebrate marriage to the glory of God. And we want to encourage those that are uh, been sick and shut in, uh, uh, and your body has been weak and you're recovering, and God is raising you back up to be stronger than than before. May God continue to bless you. Also, we want to say greeting to the Fellowship of Pastors and Churches, uh, the message that have already gone before ours by Facebook Live, uh, to our pastor's son and uh Trinidad and Tobacco, Bishop David Lewis and family, Bishop Brady Jackson, also Pastor Michael Robinson and Pastor Roberta Minor, and to Pastor McIntosh. May God continue to bless all of you. Also to our son and the Lord, uh, Pastor Jacque folks and his wife. May God continue to strengthen and bless you all, especially our son this morning. Uh, gave over his service uh, to allow uh, the members and the peoples that normally would, would fellowship with him and his ministry there in Atlanta by Facebook Live. He gave over this morning and encouraged his congregation and the people that normally listen to him to uh, dial in on conference call. We, we, he wanted... Uh, those to hear his father in the gospel, his father in the Lord, to uh, encourage them with his uh, fanaticness in the Lord and his love for God and his love for people and his love for righteousness. And he wanted uh, those that listen and serve in his ministry there that God has given him to kind of get a uh, understanding of his leader that have uh, been ordained upon him through the life in the spirit. That's what we'll be dealing with this morning, uh, life in the spirit realm. And there's a difference in life in the uh, flesh and life in the world and life in carnality. And life in the spirit is totally different, and it will be a constant war uh, when you're determined to live the life in the spirit realm to bring God glory. It will be a constant war in, in, in your uh, flesh, in the world, most of all in uh, the power of Satan that would try to discourage and uh, make us feel uh, disencouraged that we will not uh, carry out the will of the Lord. We want to say to you, as we get ready to go into the service, just want to talk and minister to you, to us, as the church. Amen. We, we have said on numerous occasions that uh, uh, men or man at his best can build a crowd, but only Christ, only God can build the church. And if you have been built up on the word of God and accepted the Lord for your personal Savior, been filled and baptized with the Holy Ghost. You're the church, and because we are the church, not the building, we are the church. Uh, the gates of hell cannot prevail. All it would do is best. It would do and make every effort to destroy the church, but it cannot happen. We want to encourage you this morning uh, by way of noticing the things that are going on in and around us, and when we look at and around and across our nation, uh, we can see all that is taking place. But I want to encourage us, regardless what's going on in our nation, regardless what's going on in our neighborhood, regardless of what's going on in our families, wherever it may be, 
I want to remind us as the church, as the body of Christ, as believers, as saints, we got too much at stake to be divided. We realize that some are on Facebook Live, some are on conference calls, some are ministering by way of uh, uh, evangelistic ministry, some are able to be in the house of prayer, some are still able like we are, having I've been led by God to go back to the house of prayer. We're not afraid. We're not scared. We're not coward. Amen. We just believe that everyone should do what God has called them to do and the way he called you to do it. And we will not be divided in doing what God has called us to do. Too much at stake. Mm. Too much at stake. Too much to be grateful for. Too much to be thankful for. Too much to glorify God than to be divided. We cannot allow what's going on to divide the body of Christ. The church is at its best when it stands in unison. As Mother has ministered this morning, when we're unified, my God, we're unbreakable. When we are one, we're unbreakable. Even in sickness and in death, when we're one, we're unbreakable. Stay with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Stay with God. Stay with Jesus. Regardless of what it looked like, in the end, we win. Revelation tells us in the end, we win. My God. But there's got to be an ending to be a winner. Glory be to God. So the same gospel that reconciles us to God is the same gospel that allows us to be reconciled to one another. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. Son, folk, we commend you. Bishop Miller and all of those that call me dad, we appreciate you. We will continue to live a life in Christ. Glory be to God. That the world, the unchurched, and those in the church can see how fathers live and how sons live. Many, many Corinthian tellers, many, many teachers, but not many fathers. Bless the son that are blessing to the father. Bless the father that is a blessing to the son and daughters. I pray that Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church family will keep the unity among us. We're not popular. We're not uh, basing salvation on education. We're not uh, out there trying to gain reputation. We just want to bring glory to God through the life we live, and the service that we render. Be encouraged. Yeah. Keep the love, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. My God, glorify God. Win souls. Yes. Those that are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, yes. we win. Hallelujah. Be encouraged. And as we go to the message this morning, hallelujah, we are going to come from uh, Romans uh, the 8th chapter. Uh, you've heard it preached many times, but I thank God will give us fresh manner from this word today, from this chapter today. Romans, the eighth chapter, and the 28th verse is based on where our text and our message will stem from this morning. That God may get the glory. Romans 8 and 28 says, and we know that all things works together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Mm -hmm. God has a purpose for everything. And I want to say to us, as God laid on my heart, to minister to us today, to those that we knew would be on the line and those that we didn't know. God will turn your pain into purpose. You need to jot that down. Amen. God will turn your pain into purpose. We realize as a believer, as saints, in this world, uh, we're having much trouble. Trouble on every side. My God, trouble in the home, trouble in the house, trouble in the White House, trouble in the church house. But God will turn your pain into purpose. Though we are experiencing many problems, God provides the solution for all of the 
many problems or man problems by sending Jesus Christ to earth to take the judgment that all sinners deserve. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh, my God. And all who trust in him can be free and made righteous before God. Thank you. Did you hear that introduction? For every problem, for all of the problems, for man's problem, for the world problem, Mm -hmm. there is a solution. My God, man cannot solve man's problem. Mm -hmm. Man cannot solve uh, the sin problem. Man cannot solve the problem in the world. My God, all of these things that are happening, my God, Trouble on every side, uh, from the White House to the church house, killing, uh, races, all of the stuff that's going on. Man has done his best. We applaud the president, the vice president, our political leaders, governors, mayor, all of our law enforcement, our military soldiers. They are trying to solve the world problem, hallelujah, and they cannot solve the world problem, because Jesus gave the solution. God gave the solution to man's problem. Man's problem is a hard problem. Glory be to God. It's not a racist problem. It's not a uh, uh, color problem. It's not an ethnic problem. It's not uh, a marriage problem. It's not divorce problem. It's not God. As the solution for man's problem, my God. And no one can change a man's heart but God. And when hearts are changed by God, then the love of God will be presented and it will work together for the love of God, for the purpose of God. Uh, This is the life of those that live in the Spirit. We cannot. I applaud those that want changes, that they take to the street, they take to protesting, they take to all of this, glory be to God. But man problem is a sin problem. The world problem is a sin problem. And through all of this that's going on, could it be, could it be all of this, the corona, the the, the march and the protest, the killing, could it be? the pain that is causing that God wants to change our pain into purpose. We've been chosen to love one another. We've been chosen to do the good place of the Lord. We've been chosen to love our brothers as Christ has loved the church with his love, with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Ghost help. Saints, we can have power to make right choices. Glory be to God. Many of the problem and the affliction and the trouble we're having it stems from choices. Glory be to God. It stems from choices. And the Holy Ghost will help us saints to make right choices. The church must make right choices. <clears throat> the church must make right choices when it comes to involving people, mm-hmm. when it in, involves and in dealing with issues and situations that we cannot handle, mm-hmm. we must make the right choice and refrain from sin. Oh, I know that this is something, even in this pandemic, that's not being preached a whole lot about. Sin is the cause of it all. Glory be to God. Sin is the cause of it all. But God has given a solution. My God, for all of the man problem, all of sin is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because there is nothing that can separate us. The writer was saying here, once we accept Christ for our personal Savior, Nothing can separate. Nothing can separate us. Uh, nothing can separate the saints mm-hmm. from God's love. Yeah. Let me encourage you: if you're 
on the line and you haven't accepted Christ for your personal Savior. You may still be living the life of a sinner, mm -hmm. but what it's really saying, God loves you yeah. in spite of what we're uh, done or not done, in spite of uh, our background, in spite of mm -hmm. our sins. God really loves us. He really loves us. The scriptures say that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And his begotten son declared on the cross, as we was yet sinners, he died. Mm -hmm. That's love, saints. Glory be to God. Oh, that's love. If we could just love, not with our love, but with the love of Christ. Now, you got to understand, I'm not a theology preacher. I don't have degrees in theology. I'm not a doctor. I wasn't called to be a doctor. I was called to be a preacher. Mm -hmm. and that is to preach Jesus. Amen. Glory. Preach the gospel. I recall, if you will, I am by no means condemning anyone that has their degree, have uh, spent time in college to get a further learning of the Bible and learning God's way. I'm just in agreement with the Bible, to whom God give much, much is required. If if you got a little more knowledge of the Scripture than I do, then God require more out of you. But the little bit that I have that came from God, I'm going to use it to the glory of God. I'm going to lift up my voice like a trumpet and show God's people their transgression. Yeah. I remember my early pastoring. I thought it was to my best advantage to go back to college and go to college and get a degree and and get my doctrine, amen. And as I did three uh, quarters, a couple of semesters in studying theology, the Lord spoke to me. I don't know what he said to you. I'm, I'm not condemning you for what the Lord said to you. But he spoke to me clearly, glory be to God. And I had to come out. I had to give up uh, college for the sake of the gospel and for the purpose which the Lord had called me for. Mm -hmm. And he spoke to me and said, glory be to God, that people do not care how much you know as long as they know how much you care. Glory be to God. And our purpose, pastors, preachers, saints, is to care for people like Christ did. Glory be to God. And if anything, any accomplished, take you away from the love of God and loving people, I think you ought to put it aside. Hallelujah. Anything or accomplishment that causing you to be taken away from the gospel of Jesus Christ, taken away from living holy, sanctified. I think you ought to lay it aside. Amen. Because we've been called with a purpose, glory be to God, to live holy. And the Holy Ghost will help us. Holy Ghost will help us uh, to live a life that brings glory to God and nothing, glory be to God, will be able to separate us from the love of God. My God, if I was listening in the spirit realm, and I am, I could hear your amen. I could hear your thank you, Jesus. I could hear your love and your cry for the gospel, for holiness, for righteousness. In spite of our pain glory, and our suffering, God will turn it into purpose. Glory be to God. Everything the saints receive, our salvation, our justification, our sanctification, even someday our glorification. You're going to suffer pain, glory be to God. As a saint, as a believer, you're going to suffer pain. Wait a minute, stop, put a pause, glory be to God. Hallelujah. It is not over yet, my God. When COVID is over, when the mass is taken off and we're able to go back to the house of prayer, and fellowship and praise God and worship God. And, and we need to use this time of pain away from one another. 
away from worship to allow God to fulfill purpose. We must be ready for the world and the world order and the world system and Satan himself going to bring problem to the church. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, hallelujah, glory be to The church going to be tested. Mm-hmm. Glory. This is not testing time. This is pain time. We're having pain right now, but God want to fulfill purpose in us. He want to prepare the church. Glory be to God. But whatever comes his way, that we won't lose our witness. We won't lose our joy. We won't lose our salvation. We won't lose our justification. Glory. We won't lose our holiness. We'll still be in pain and say, glory to God. We'll still be in pain and say, God is God. We'll still be able to say in pain and trouble time that God is a way maker. Hallelujah. When it seemed like there's no way, when it seemed like trouble is going to take us out of here, we'll still be able to lift our voice and shout, God is a way maker. Hallelujah. Not only is he a way maker to those that may be going through pain or sickness, your body, per se, is dealing with pain, uncomfortable pain. We'll be able to say, still as the church, he's a promise keeper. He's a miracle worker. Hallelujah. The same God that worked miracles in the Old Testament is the same God that's a miracle worker in the New Testament. Can I get a witness that he's a miracle worker? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He's a promise keeper. He's light and darkness. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Let the light shine. Not our light, but his light. As a believer in a dark world that we're in, Glory be to God. Even those that have once had a sweet walk with God, my God, the light is growing dim. Mm-hmm. They got their focus on the world. Yes, yes. Glory. They got their focus on achieving and accomplishing mm-hmm. things that will bring them pleasure in the world. Mm-hmm. They got their mind in achieving and accomplishing it, achieve goals that will make them popular. Mm-hmm. But I encourage the church to let your light shine. Yes. That in a dark world, yes, people can see mm-hmm. that the light of Christ, yes. that God yet lives, yes, and he lives in the hearts of the believers. Yes. As a church, we yes. ask you to rise up. Yes. Get up. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Get up from sitting down. Mm-hmm. All day sitting down. Yes. Having read our Bible. All day on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Greeting your friend, mm-hmm. and you're, not, you're losing your friendship with God. Get up. I'm not trying to put you down. I'm trying to encourage you to get up as a church. Glory be to God. You don't need to be on Facebook Live only. You need to have your faith in the book, the Holy Bible. That's where your help come from. Glory be to God. Everything that the saints receive, their salvation, their justification, their sanctification. We're living in a time where it seemed almost not popular to say I'm sanctified. Almost not popular to say I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Almost not possible, impossible. Mm -hmm. It's not popular Mm -hmm. to say that I love the Lord with all of my heart. We want to pray for our young graduate from high school, those that are in college, those that are going to college, we pray that those that have been brought up in the admiration of the Lord, been brought up in a Christian home, been brought up in a godly home, glory be to God. Be careful who you associate yes, with. Lord. They'll bring pain to you. Mm-hmm. Be careful who you party with. Mm-hmm. They'll bring pain to you. Yes. Stay focused on your purpose. Glory be to God. Mom and dad are spending much, much money. Mm-hmm. Glory be to God. Even there are those that have gotten Full ride grants. Glow, mm-hmm. somebody has invested in you. Mm-hmm. Don't lose your purpose. Glory be to God. Uh, don't lose your 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 witness. Glory be to God. Don't be ashamed. You're gonna you're gonna run into many pains in college. You're gonna have pain to be like the status quo. It's gonna be painful to you as young men and young women in college. 
uh, to not hang out with the in crowd. My God, but I encourage you to allow God to turn your pain into purpose. Hallelujah. To the glory of God. God's grace is sufficient. Regardless of your pain, God's grace is sufficient. Glory be to God. I stop now to encourage you. You that are experiencing affliction, you that are experiencing pain, hallelujah. You will not die according to the Bible. You shall live. Yes. God will turn your pain into purpose. You shall live and declare the goodness of the Lord. You may have been young, but now you're old, but you shall live and declare the work of the Lord. Witness right there in your home. Witness right there in the nursing home. Witness right there where you at and declare the goodness of the Lord. Yes, Lord. When we remain faithful and live, Glory be to God. Even the painful little things you've been doing, allow God to turn your pain into purpose. If you be faithful over little, my God, or in pain, my God, and only can do a little bit, God is preparing us for greater purpose. Hallelujah. You got life to live yet, saints. Glory be to God. You got ministry left in you. You got witness still in you. Glory be to God. Get up and tell the goodness of the Lord. Get up and declare the goodness of the Lord. Get up and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, when we talk about purpose, Webster, Webster say purpose is the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. If that's the case, life in the spirit can really fulfill purpose for us. Purpose is when you, my definition of purpose as a believer, life in the spirit, when you love what you've been called by God to do, hear me now, life in the spirit, purpose is when you love what you've been called by God to do, you enjoy doing it. You do not have to be paid to do it. Let me tell you, many of these degrees, many of these college degrees, many of these college accomplishments, we realize that some of our young people in the church are in college sacrificing in doing pain for a purpose to get their uh, medical degree, to become uh, therapists, to become teachers. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And to accomplish that, yes, you will enjoy doing it, but also you're going to do it for a salary. Mm -hmm. And nothing wrong with that. But I'm talking about in the spirit realm when, when when God fulfills a purpose in you, glory be to God, and you're called to that purpose, be it to preach, be it to sing, be it to lead the praise and worship service, to play the instrument, you do not have to be paid to do it. If you got to be paid to do it, you're going to do a half-done job. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But if you have been called to do it, to the glory of God, you'll preach without money. You'll preach without a pat on the back. You'll preach when they say amen. You'll preach when they criticize you. You'll preach because you've been called, glory be to God, for a purpose. My God, you don't have to be paid to do it. You do it when you feel good. You do it when you don't feel good. Yes. My God, according to verse 28, in Romans, it said, and we know, glory be to God, hallelujah, that all things work together for good to them that love the, love God. Saint, do you love him today? Hello. Jesus asked a question to his disciples, do you love me more than these? My, is it possible that these, these outside of the will of God is really causing pain? These, these 
that we are trying to do on our own that are causing pain? Is it these things that we're doing against the will of God that are causing pain? Regardless what causing the pain, God is able to turn our pain into purpose. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We've been called by God to, to enjoy holiness. Yes. My God, we should enjoy holiness. Yes, Lord. We should enjoy praising mm-hmm. and worshiping God. Mm-hmm. We should enjoy witnessing, telling others that he's saved. Yes. Let me pause here, thanks, and let you know that our purpose mm-hmm. is to win souls. Yes. Glory be to God. Our purpose is to preach the gospel for the winning of souls, the good news of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's no price can make us preach, and there's no price can stop us from preaching. We preach Jesus because he suffered the pain for us that we may have purpose in our life. Oh, bless his name for good because I love God, and it is our purpose. God can turn your pain in the purpose. Glory be to God. Verse 37 says, sometime you are apt, asked to speak to their, to these things. You are asked to speak to these things. Verse 37 says, to the glory of God, nay, in all things, mm-hmm. we are more than conquered yes. through him that love us. Do you not know God has given us purpose? Mm-hmm. Through his son, Jesus, the boldness in the Holy Ghost, the power to use his name to speak to some things. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. To speak to some things that are causing pain. My God, hallelujah. Such thing as peace be still. Why God poor for your purpose. Glory in a sick body. Peace be still. Mm-hmm. I will wait on the Lord to heal my body because he is a miracle worker. He is a healer. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And God is able to turn our pain into purpose. When we think of pain, we think of pain in our body that causes discomfort, distress, a sign that something is wrong. Glory be to God. When we're experiencing pain, in our physical body, as well as in our spirit realm, it brings discomfort, distress, but there are many times it tells us something is wrong. Mm -hmm. My God, just before you backslide, something is wrong. Glory, just before you give up on God, that pain is letting you know something is wrong. Just before you give up on that marriage as a believer and you're trusting God to work that thing out for you, it is telling you something is wrong. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. As saints, we know it's not from sin many times. You got to understand, just because we're having pain and we're having discomfort, we're having sickness in our body, it does not have to be a condemnation to us that is because of sin. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We have pain even if we do not sin. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Just as a believer, just because we are followers of Christ, we shall experience pain. Glory be to God. But turn it over to the Lord, and he'll work it out. Glory be to God. God told Eve in the garden, After sin, glory, there was no pain before sin. But after sin, sometimes sin is the reason for pain. Glory be to God. And she was told that you will bear pain. Glory be to God. But hold on. The purpose for the pain was to replenish the earth. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. My God. We cannot hardly handle the working by the sweat of your brow, men. Thank God he didn't give us the responsibility to bear pain Mm -hmm. as we work by the sweat of the brow. Mm -hmm. 
But whatever God allow that cause him pain, he will turn it into our purpose. God will turn our pain into purpose. Yes. Well, I don't know how much you're getting out of this right now, but I know God is able. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. To turn our pain into purpose. Yes. Pain in the flesh. Mm. God, Son, Jesus, to come here to earth, mm-hmm. his purpose was to pay the sin debt yes. that all mankind who have the right to the tree of life. Yes. My God, hallelujah. Yes. He felt in the garden mm-hmm. as human. He was all God, hallelujah. but he was all human. He yes. knew no sin. He committed no sin, but he had pain. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes. He had pain. Yes. My God, even in the garden of Gethsemane, he mm-hmm. felt pain. Ask the question, mm-hmm. why have thou forsaken me? Mm-hmm. Glory be to God. Yes. Sometimes your pain will make you feel that. Mm-hmm. Where is God? Oh, Hallelujah. Sometimes your sickness in your body, mm-hmm. knowing that he's a healer, yes. will make you ask the question, yes. where are you, yes. God? Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Pain will make you cry out yes. to God, or it'll make you cry out against God. Yes. But if you allow your pain yes, to cause you to cry out to God, mm-hmm. how long, God? Yes. Hallelujah. And he'll let you know, not long, hallelujah. How long will this pandemic last? He'll let you know, not long. How long will we have to be on Facebook Live before we can go back to the house of prayer? He'll tell you, not long. How long will you have to be on comfort call and you can't see the face of the people? He'll tell you, not long. Because it's working for good. I'm going to turn those pain into purpose. Yes. But when you get back to the house of prayer, yes. I want you to praise me. Yes. I want you to give me glory. Yes. I want you to worship me. Yes, Keep seeing out of your life. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. My God, hallelujah. Glory, glory. glory be to God. Mm-hmm. How long, God? Yes, pain will make you want to give up yes, and throw in the towel. Mm-hmm. God is able to turn your pain yes. into purpose. Yes. Glory be to God. Glory be to yes. God. Yes. I encourage you, my God, I encourage you today mm. from verse 38 and 39. Yes, Lord. You be persuaded mm. that nothing, hallelujah, nothing will be able. Yes, Lord. Glory be to God. Mm. There will be nothing able, mm. my God. To stop me from fulfilling purpose. Yes, Lord. Glory be to brother pastor, fulfill purpose. Yes. My God, if you're preaching to thousands, fulfill purpose. Yes. If you're preaching to nobody but your household, yes. fulfill purpose. Yes. Preach on, hallelujah. Yes. Live on, glory yes. be to God. Yes. How long? Not long. Yes. God going to clear the air. Yes. God going to allow the nation My God. that they ought to turn to God. Yes. The nation problem is not a political solution. The nation problem is God. The nation problem is repent. Glory be to God. And turn to the Lord. Glory be to God. I say to the husband and wife, fulfill your purpose. You've been called to allow your marriage to represent the marriage of a bride and God. Hallelujah. He's coming back. Yes. For those that fulfill your purpose. Yes. Glory be to God. He coming back for his jewel. Yes, he coming back for his bride. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So live on. Mm. Preach on. Glory be to God. Yes, fulfill your purpose. God will turn your pain into purpose. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. If you love the Lord, say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you love the Lord, say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you're going to live holy, say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you're going to do right, say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you're going to hang on in there, say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And sometimes you, with all of those desires, you have to say, help me, Lord. Help me. Can I get a witness? Yes. Somebody ought to say, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. In the midst of my pain, help me, Lord. Help me. In the midst of my weakness, help me, Lord. Yes. In the midst of my trouble and sorrow, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. In the midst of my shortcoming, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. My finances is weak, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Oh, he'll help you. He's yeah. a helper. He's a helper. Glory be to God. My God, as I close in Genesis chapter 37, 1 through verse 11, Joseph, there's a call for Joseph. There was a call for his father to make him a 
a coat of many colors, mm-hmm. but he didn't know it was going to bring pain. Jesus. Hallelujah. Even sons and daughters, mothers and fathers, yes. who have done their best for their children, yes. who have pushed them and stood by them yes. to become adults, yes. but we didn't know, glory be to God, that that little precious child mm. someday will have pain yes. and causing us pain. Yes, glory be to God. Mm. Joseph, glory be to God. Father made him a coat of many colors, yes, and it yes. brought division right there among the brothers. Mm-hmm. Can I get a witness? Mm-hmm. Even when you're done right and living holy, yes. sometimes it causes them pain. Yes. Glory be to God. Mm-hmm. His father made him this coat, my God, of many colors. Mm-hmm. Then his brothers got jealous of him. Yes. Glory be to God, and threw him in the pit. Yes. But God turned Joseph pain into purpose. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Souls were saved, mm-hmm. my God, oh. by him in the pit. Yes. God had a purpose that he would rise up out of the pit yes. to the palace. Yes. Glory be to God. And the purpose was for done the pattern. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Glory be to God. Mm-hmm. What looked like death to you. Mm-hmm. God is working that thing for purpose. Yes. What looked like everybody done turned against you. Yes. God is working that thing for purpose. Yes. Can I get a witness? What looked like going to take you out of here. God will turn that pain into purpose. My God. Glory be to God. Saul, my God, on the road to Damascus. Yes. My God, his purpose was to wipe out the Christian church. Yes. Newfound Christian. Glory be to God made the noise and the rumor went out and he was sent out as Saul to destroy the Christian church. Glory be to God. But little did he know that road to Damascus to hurt the church. Mm-hmm. God turned it into purpose. Can I get a witness? Yes. God turned it into purpose and changed his life. Yes. And named him Paul. Glory be to God. One cannot come in contact with Jesus yes. and remain the same. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. No matter what your pain may be, yes. if you bring it to Jesus, yes. hallelujah, no matter what your downfall is, yes. if you bring it to Jesus, yes. no matter who walked off from you, yes. if you bring it to Jesus, yes. no matter what sickness you have, yes. if you bring it to Jesus, yes. if you come to the Lord yes. and make contact with him, yes. you won't leave here like you came. Yes, Ain't he all right? Yes. You can make come broke, My sorrow, sick, and lame, mm-hmm. but you won't leave it like you came. Oh, my God, yes. he'll turn your pain yes. into purpose. My Get up. Yes. Hallelujah. Declare the goodness of the Lord. Yes. Get up and say, I'm going to live and not die. Yes. Get up. My God, and cry holy. My God, get up. Let the earth's eye die so you can cry holy. Yes. Holy in my home. Holy on my job. Yes, Holy in my church. Yes. Holy in my home. Yes. Holy. Holy, yes, Thank you, Holy when I'm sick. Yes, Holy when I'm well. Yes. Holy when I'm feeling good. Yes, Holy when I'm broke. Yes. Holy when I got money. Yes, Holy when I live in the project. Yes. Holy when I live on the house on the hill. Holy. Yes, oh, God has turned yes, my pain. In the purpose. Yes, Lord. Our purpose is to live holy. Yes, Lord. Our purpose is to live righteous. Jesus. Our purpose is to yes, flee Lord. sin. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, our purpose is to keep sin out of our life. Yes, Lord. My God, as a church, we are to rise up yes. and declare the goodness of the Lord. Yes. As a church, we rise up in sickness. Yes. As a church, we rise up in disappointment. Yes, Lord. As a church, we rise up yes, and obey our pastor. Yes. As a church, yes. sons rise up yes. and hold up the arm of their leader. Yes, Lord. As pastors, we rise up and preach the gospel. Yes, Lord. As pastor wives, we stand firm with our husbands. Yes. As pastors, in the name of Jesus, yes. we declare the goodness of the Lord. Yes, Lord. We preach on the phone. Yes. We preach on Facebook. Yes. We preach on our job. Yes. We preach in the gym. Yes. All right. Yes. Got yes. purpose. Hallelujah. Yes, They're supposed to look at us and say, mm. something different about you. Yes. Something different about you. Mm. Glory be to God. Mm. Hallelujah. What is it? Yes. And we'll be able to witness and tell them it's Jesus. Hallelujah. I came to him one day, all wounded and broken, life full of sin. Glory 
be to God. Hallelujah. He talked to me like he did the woman at the well. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. If she the only knew, glory be to God. Yes. That one trip yes. would cause her to have pain my God. to preach the gospel, to witness the others. She may not have went. My God. Glory, if you had known mm -hmm. your pain, yes. my God, Jesus. would change your life. Yes. Glory be to God. Jesus. You might not have wanted that pain. Glory, glory, glory. God is able yes. to change your whole life. Yes. God is able. Jesus, Jesus. Hold on, church, mm. in my poor way of delivering the message today. Hold on. Glory. If you didn't have a past over you, yes. hold on. Yes. Yes, no. Unbear your past. Yes. You didn't have a past in your life that loved the Lord, love holiness, love righteous. Please yes. stand by him or her and yes. support him. Yes, Lord. Glory be to God. Yes. May God bless you. Yes. Pastor Fellowship and Churches. Yes, Lord. May God keep you. Yes. Son. Yes. Jacquee. May yes. God keep you. Yes, Lord. Son. Bishop Miller. My Lord. You may not have a house of prayer at this my, time. My, 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 my. It may be painful. Yes. People may be wondering why, what happened. Yes. But hold on. Yes. Yes, Lord. God going to turn your pain into yes, purpose. Lord. Yes. Hold on. Yes. God will restore unto you what the worms and the canker worms yeah, yeah. have destroyed locusts. Yeah. Hold on. But Glory be to you. You may be down, but God will raise you yeah, up. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, no. Glory be to God. Maybe sick in your body, but he's healing you right yeah, now. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, no. Glory be to God. Yeah, no. Glory, God will turn Lord, your God. pain into hey, purpose. Hey. May God bless you. May God keep you. May something have been spoken that would encourage you to endure hardness as a good soldier. Mm -hmm. Fight the good fight. Yes. Someday you'll say like Paul, mm -hmm. who was once saw, yes. but changed yes. on the road to the master, yes. filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Maybe you'll say like the Hebrew boys in mm -hmm. closing, my God, painful to walk into that fire. Yes. But their purpose was to come out, mm. not even a smoke stitch on them. You, Maybe you'd be like Daniel in the lion den, yeah. painful yeah. to step in that lion den. No, it done no wrong. But God turned it into purpose. Mm. Glory to God is turning your pain into purpose right now mm. because we're more than conquered. Yes, and nothing, nothing, I'm persuaded. Yes. Can I persuade you yes. to be persuaded that nothing? Mm. We'll be able to separate you. Yes, Lord. Neither death, nor life, mm. nor angels, mm. nor principality, nor powers, oh, yes, Lord. nor things present, nor things to come, yes. nor height, yes, nor depth, yes, Lord. nor any other creature mm. shall be able yes, to separate yes. us from the love of God. Yes, yes. Hold on, church. Yes. Hold on, pastors. Yes. Hold on, saints of Thank God. Yes, Give on. Yes. Serve on. Yes. Love on. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Your sanctification mm -hmm. would lead you to justification. And your justification mm -hmm. would lead you someday to glorification. Yes. And when we get over there to glorification, that's mm -hmm. the purpose, is to make it to heaven. Mm -hmm. My purpose is to make it to heaven. Yes. And spend yes. eternity with yes. God. Where there's no sickness, yes. no trouble, yes. no sorrow, yes. no death. No death. No Hallelujah. Death. Every day. Yes. My God. Every day. Yes. will be Sunday. Every day. will be peace and fellowship yes. with God. Yes. Be encouraged. Father, we thank you for this day. Thank we you, thank you for those that are experiencing pain. Mm -hmm. Comfort them and let them know. You turn it into purpose. Glory be to God. We was created for purpose. And that purpose is to live holy. That purpose is to love God with all of our heart. Strengthen the weak. Yes, Lord. Prop up the elders. Yes, Lord. Embrace the saints. In the name of Jesus. That there be no giving up yes, in our vocabulary. Yes, there be just a do right. A love right. Yes, a yes. serve right. Yes, yes. 
a gear right yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Stirs up. Stirs up, Lord. Stirs up. Stir the gift up in yes. us. And we live like you say live. And we give you glory mm. and we give you praise. Yes. Because you are a way maker. You are a miracle worker. Mm. You are, my God, light and darkness. For God. That is who he is. God bless you. See you in the next service on Wednesday night. We'll be teaching from the Bible and the message concerning fellowship. God bless you. God bless all the